Festive Studio. It's Wednesday, so it's a Wednesday crush, like Women Crush Wednesday. And she needs no introduction. She's media personality because Sita Sema former. Because once you go media, you never <laughs> ever get away from media. And she is the head of global corporate communications at Amref. Guys, let's introduce our guest, Liz Tanjira. Thank you. Thank Welcome you so studio. much for having me. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, you have guys. so many hearts. I couldn't. I, I could not <laughs> yeah, stop I know. Talking. If we're going to sell of them, yeah. the show will be over. So it's fine. We'll let you do that. The rest of us. <laughs> it's yes, okay. I completely go. understand. You're welcome. You look really <laughs> nice. You guys look amazing. Hey, you know, we I was knew, trying to we keep up. We knew be here. I was so trying, trying to, to catch up. No, no, no. We are no, the ones who are catching up with you already. Yeah, you know, you were here before us, so we have to, you know. Speaking of which, um, for those people who do not know, maybe start with like your background in like media, where you started and where you yes. are now. Yes. Oh, wow. Where do I start? Mm -hmm. And I, just to take you back to mm -hmm. how you started with Wednesday Grind, it's yeah. so funny that my second name is Gaki. And in mm -hmm. Meru, I know in Kisi, it's an exclamation. Oh. <laughs> Gaki? <laughs> but, That's true. Yes, exactly. <laughs> But in in um, in Kimeru, it actually means um, Grind? gaki, yeah, grinding sorghum or millet. Really, I'm the it one literally who makes means grinder. Yes, ah, grinding. How do you know that on the name? grind? So you're always <laughs> on the grind. Okay. Clearly, clearly, because I saw I looked at your like, hey, look like, at the wait, LinkedIn <laughs> like in profile. I'm like, wait, what, what, what? I'm writing down. <laughs> what, what? Just hey, making us feel bad about our My parents that knew. <laughs> That's why they called me. That's why they called you that. Yeah, I think they still knew exactly. Yeah. So where did the grind begin? Yeah. Oh, the grind began, I think, the first ever article I published was when I was 10 years old. What? And I was so excited uh, because I used to be one of those kids that would write letters to Young Nation back in the Are day. Are you wow. serious? Yes, I'm oh always writing goodness. letters to the editor. And I think I've always had a passion for writing. And I always say I'm a storyteller, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, respective of whatever field I'm in. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I... When I was pursuing my law degree, I, you know, started working for Nation Media Group. Mm -hmm. I had a column at Buzz, oh. and it was called Campo Vibe, and I used I to sign off as Bunny. Um, oh, just wow, because that was your, <laughs> yes. like, <Hey. laughs> that's so cute. In okay. the day, day, day and age, in this day and age, it's yeah. called, like, the way you have, like, a, like a, a different profile. Like yes. You <laughs> know, <a pseudonym laughs> yes, yes, just in or case. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then um, at the same time, I used to work for True Love Drum, the East Africa Magazine's franchise, mm -hmm. which closed up, yeah. but um, True Love still exists. Mm -hmm. So I used to write a lot for them. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember in, you know, going to K24 when it was just setting up a couple of years back, I must have been 19 or something. Mm -hmm. And I had been, you know, invited for such an interview to just talk about writing and mm -hmm. why young people should be encouraged to write more and mm -hmm. read more yeah. and i remember the late uh, bat medley the station manager calling me to his office and saying oh you speak so well do you mind joining tv and i've never really tv was not my you never vision. really thought yeah. you'd be it was yeah. exactly wow. it's talk of serendipity yeah. and um, yeah, I and he, he had to sell it to me. He told me, imagine, you know, writing is just a byline. Yeah. Mm. TV really is, yeah, yeah, TV is branding yourself in mm. complete and everything. So, yeah, I joined K24 as a travel show host and producer. Mm -hmm. Um, then right Wait, after. Wait, at 19? Yeah. Imagine. I was in, like, my like me, second, me. third year Christ. for law degree. Whoa. Yes. Okay, can but I just say, you're such an overachiever, yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> I really you know, continue, 19, continue. But I'm going to ask you, like, you joined TV, and most people actually remember you in your TV days, mm -hmm. and you left at the peak of your career, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, what really prompted that decision to want to leave TV after just joining okay, it? Nana, if I had a dollar for every time I've been asked that, that question, question, I know. I would be owning my own because media station. Who <laughs> is work at their prime, though? I know. Um, but I left because of a number of reasons. So anyway, long story short of my career, I then joined NTV and worked a few other corporate places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I left TV at, like you say, my peak because I really wanted to understand. And I think this was drawn because of my law degree. Yeah. I really wanted to understand 
as the fourth state, yes, we hold the people in power accountable. Mm -hmm. But how does this accountability look like? So I really wanted to understand the public sector yeah. and how it works. Yeah. So I'd signed up for my master's in public policy and management and stra at Strathmore. Yeah. And if you know Strathmore, they mm -hmm. don't play. Yeah, they're strict. Yeah. Ooh, you very. have to attend Ooh, class. Yeah. You have to wear right. Do your assignments. Yeah. Yeah. Wear right. Oh, yes. my goodness. And it was impossible because at 5.30 yeah. is when you're getting ready for the news mm -hmm. and that's when class starts. And you can't be at a few minutes late. You, you have can't, to, yeah. yeah. So that was one. The other thing is I get really bad migraines and see this light? Yes. My eyes were ever bloodshot red. Like 2013, <gasps> no. I really suffered. How did you have that? What? How it did was you handle crazy. that? And then for some reason during that time, it was, we weren't encouraged. I put on glasses. So yeah. We yeah, weren't encouraged to put on glasses yeah, because it will reflect, which mm. is understandable. But in then my health yeah. came fast. Over there. Yeah, <laughs> and contacts are uncomfortable. I get very, it. They are very, so un your, very your eyes are constantly dry. Exactly. I didn't know, it's really. So yeah. I thought they were cute. <laughs> well, well, no. <laughs> I mean, when you're yeah. using them to see. Yeah, mm, yeah. So that's so, fun. <laughs> yeah, so I, I had to live. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and no. I immediately I joined a state corporation. Okay, so yeah. I was in the in you know the public sector mm -hmm. and it's nothing like what people say uh, in my experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um because you know the way people talk. Yeah. A lot of trash. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know people get to work at 11 but that was not my the experience. Really? I think the fish rots from the head. Yeah. And the director general for that organization was by 6 he was at work. Damn. So yeah. you can't afford yeah. to slack. Yeah. You know, yeah. but, like the but boss can't show up before you. Yeah, and then, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I wonder, like, what's, what's your typical day like? <gasps> wow, it's <laughs> crazy. Mm -hmm. Like currently, um, I lead communi global communications yeah. at Amref Health Africa. Yes. You know, we're at the front center and back mm -hmm. of this whole COVID um, mm -hmm. crisis, mm -hmm. uh, pandemic. Um, helping a lot of governments in their response. Mm -hmm. uh, we form part of a number of their task forces with different countries. Mm -hmm. For those who do not know AMREF, AMREF is a leading health development organization. Mm -hmm. um, we have that we are operational in 35 countries, 11 Europe and North America offices, and we do have three subsidiaries. Mm -hmm. I'm Flying Doctors, which is more yeah. known. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. More yeah. popular. Yeah. 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 Flying yes. Doctors, yeah, that yes. one had, yes. Um, Amref International University, mm -hmm. and then we do have Amref Enterprises. Oh. So um, just coordinating globally all our communication efforts, our work that we do, and how it can lead to advocacy and policy changes. And on top of that, I run my network yes. with, of course, a fantastic team of young people. So when do you sleep? I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my next question. So you, you have the AMREF job and then you have your own... The yeah. network, yes. Network. Does yeah. it also do, do the same thing? Or no, 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 no. The network is purely about um, mentorship for young people. Okay. So it's a platform that provides coaching, training, mm -hmm. um, and leadership development for young people. Mm -hmm. We've um, so far had about 2,000 members within mm -hmm. the network. Mm -hmm. um, we are under one year. We've had at least 15 scholarships. So mm -hmm. we thank the people who believe in us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also have about 212 people signed up in our mentorship, mental mentorship, mentorship program. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So wow. is that, that like how you give back to the community? Yes. Yes. Um, you know, I interact a lot with young people mm -hmm. and, you know, I've sat in so many panels yeah. and I feel sometimes there's, um, age bias mm -hmm. or prejudice, yeah. um, to very, to young people. Yeah. Like I've sat in panels where I, my ears were red hot yeah. because yeah, of the things the, the other panelists say. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like I, I really recall this one time when a panelist said, you know, let's not hire too many young women. Mm -hmm. We don't know. They might all get pregnant at the same oh, time. Wow. Oh, wow. Really? Really? Yeah. Or like people actually level? talk like that. Yes. Right. And and for me it's really exasperating sometimes to when hear those conversations. to hear those yeah. conversations mm -hmm. and then sometimes and young women at, are always at a disadvantage because I've n they never get I've never had men being asked how many children do you, you do? have? Do you have a yeah, husband? Like how true. does my marital status affect, affect my, my job? <laughs> exactly. Wow. So and also young people in, in general, both men and women, get a lot of prejudice. Um, I've had a lot of organizations say, no, we don't want to hire millennials and it doesn't help. 
Mm. When we read constantly articles that say millennials are lazy, we're mm -hmm. not lazy. Yeah, it's we're just not lazy. We're our just time event yeah. is, you know, the way we we <laughs> use yeah. our time is just not it's different. conventional. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's 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 if me and you were to have a meeting, mm -hmm. like we don't always have meetings for things that we can actually action yeah, by a phone yeah. call. Exactly. Yeah. What's the point? You're wasting time, fuel, you know. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're but reducing I, carbon, yeah. <laughs> <it's> <laughs> our carbon <laughs> footprint. Yeah. We don't have to drive to each other. We can yes. talk on the phone. But I'm happy we are having this conversation right now. And I know you guys have so many questions for our guest, Liz Tafadali. Number ni ile ile, double two, triple nine. We're going to go on a short break, but we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We still have our in the show guys all right <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. And Liz is still in the building here with us. And you guys have shown so much love. Hapam Tandaoni. Let me read some of your feedback. Um, hey, y'all. It's um, Shiro. I want to ask how can one join her network? Because she is, she is so inspiring and I would want to be successful now that I just turned 18 years old. Wow, you're thinking ahead. We'll yeah. answer your questions. Let me just read all of them. Um, hi, ladies. I am Frank from Nyandarwa. Is Liz a sister to Anwai Guru? They look alike. <laughs> <laughs> She's so over that question. She doesn't want to do. so <laughs> Hello, I am Julian from Kisumu. Please ask, please ask her how I can join her network. There's a lot of questions about the network, so let me see what else I can have here. Um, uh, hi, chat spot ladies. You look really amazing. I like your guest today. Um, how old is Liz? Because I am surprised. Why are you surprised? Because she's achieved so much in a short I know, time, right? right? Yeah. Me too. I feel like, I feel jealous. <laughs> um, hi, ladies. I am Wendy from Embu. Uh, you look fabulous. Thank you so much. Um, actually, most of the questions here are just asking about how to join your network. Yes. Oh, awesome. yes. Awesome. But I have some feedback yeah. over here okay. on Facebook. Let me read a few of them. I miss this girl. I loved her news. That's Rose Johnson. Aww. I miss you. And then there's one hilarious one. Invite me on, on, on the spot for an interview one day. I'm also a celebrity back in my village. Uh -huh. They think I'm a hair hostess, but qua ground, I'm a mother of 10. Like, okay, that's, that's really funny. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? I know. She's called Melon in Joki. In Joki. Who can joking. blast right now? <laughs> Aya Sawa. Uh, Mariska. Camilla says, You ladies are looking awesome now. Penda Bure watching from Nairobi. Show. We go hot. Asante. Sana. Oh, oh yes, thank so you so much. Back the interview. Yes. And Mini Kulize. So, no, question number one yeah. about the network, because oh, that's what I have been asked a lot. Ah, How can perfect. people join? Yes. Do you have so, like a limit of mm -hmm. people that you No, take? no, no, no. The more, the merrier. You mm -hmm. can join the network by going to www.lizntonjira.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then just click the join button. It's that simple, guys. I hope you're listening. Meskia, say it one more time so that www.lizntonjira. And Liz is L I double Z. N T O N J I R A dot com and then just click the join button. Fantastic. Yes. We are waiting for you. Now, oh, <laughs> simple as that. So simple. Now, you worked for a multi like national company, IBM, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the same time you were planning your wedding, like you're always juggling things. Like, how do you do it? I know, I think there's a problem. Like, I ask my <laughs> no, mom. No, I think there's a secret there. <laughs> no, no, secret. We can't do it. We, we need I a can't. life hack. My brain would like, I'd, I'd have like, a, you know, there are computers are glitch. Yeah. I just glitched yeah. at some point. So, yeah, I was, I had deadlines at work. Mm -hmm. I had, I was actually pursuing two sort of master's degrees. Jesus yeah, Christ. at Strathmore at the time we were doing. Like, yes, yes, and the chatter, and the, the CIPR PR, yes, yes, from UK. And um, I was planning my wedding. I had a wedding Whoa, planner. Okay, those, are, those are three already. Like those are three things <laughs> already. Like uh -huh. uh, your hands I'm on. so particular. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't see the need of the wedding planner, Siko okay. Baya, because... You can do everything yourself. You need to no, call no, no, someone. No, <laughs> if you want something done, do it yourself. <laughs> That's true. Because I, I got a bit tired of which color. Okay, this yeah. one, this one, you know. So you just make the decision. Mm. And then I, you know, I have two kids. A wonderful husband mm -hmm. that also needs your time yeah and uh yeah so it was crazy but i think that the secret yes please is just to honestly it's just prioritizing mm -hmm. like your time mm -hmm. planning what is important what is urgent 
um, what ca can you not leave out and making sure that nobody suffers. Yeah. But I can honestly say my sleep suffers. I have yeah, proper it's, insomnia. It's, 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 yeah, it's sleep, not her. Yeah. <laughs> sleep it's your sleep that suffers. Two hours. <laughs> uh, Shidani, uh -huh. this quote I read some time back, uh -huh. it said, uh -huh. sleep is the cousin of death. <laughs> wow, so you're running away from, from it. You're like, no, no. <laughs> death will find you anywhere, even when you're I walking. Know, I know. <laughs> But that has to be the I most hilarious thing I've heard. Yeah. No, seriously. Oh so sleep, I think. But I this year I'll work on on, on getting more sleep. More sleep. And then and you, you guys are saying sleepy, like you know, beauty sleep. Yeah, How? beauty sleep. Yeah, <laughs> you look gorgeous. <laughs> She's I mean, gorgeous without sleep. It's not fair. Let me tell you, I didn't wake up like this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wake up like this. <laughs> My makeup artist. <laughs> You had to put on your face. Yeah. It's okay. We, we yeah. all put yeah. on our faces. Yeah. 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 You should actually do a show when all of you are makeup free. You know, I actually made that suggestion yesterday to our makeup artist. See, great minds. Oh, yeah. So, great minds. Yeah, great minds. Mm. Nisawa, too. I'll just look 12 years old. Nisawa, <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> I'm open to it. <laughs> okay, so Liz here on our show, we do like to play some games. Okay. So today we're playing a very... Actually, you know what? Let's just go to GameSpot and I'll explain the game. <laughs> So today we're playing my favorite game. It's called okay, Never Have game. I Emma. Did you say Emma? Yeah. Never Have I Emma. What is that game? Because I don't know it. <laughs> Bye. Thanks guys for watching. Um, <laughs> playing Never Have I Emma. Oh my God. Here we go. It's one of my favorite games. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, here we advocate for the truth. All right. Mm -hmm. When I ask a question, give Nana one. Oh, yes. sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so okay, here no we, I will ask you a question and then you just lift it up. I have or oh, I have mm -hmm. never. Mm -hmm. Again, here we, we advocate for honesty. So the just, whole truth? Just be on, the whole truth? Nothing but the and truth. Nothing so but help the me. Truth. So help, wait, are you a lawyer? So I can tell you all my secrets and you can't tell anyone? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, fantastic. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> She's under oath. <laughs> You're under oath. <laughs> all right. Never have I ever ruined an item of clothing I have borrowed from a friend. Never. Me, I don't have to pull my size. Oh, really? <laughs> really? I, I don't have anyone to borrow from. To say? I don't have anyone to borrow from. I don't even have places to shop. Your sometimes. friends? I don't you know. None of my friends are my size. Even my shoes. I can't give anyone my shoes. I can't what shoe size shoes. are you? Size three. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? I'm four. I would have helped you. <laughs> uh, I'm Somehow. four as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe me and Nana can. Yeah, yeah you can help each other. I love your shoes, so <laughs> can <laughs> we talk after the show? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, never have I ever gone on a blind date. Oh, no. I have never. You, you have? have? Liz, I want to I tell us what the story. Wow. Yes. Uh, was it what's a blind date when you go <laughs> on a date first. and you don't Someone, know the person yeah ah okay you've never yeah. seen them you're just told oh there's this guy i think he's like yeah, yeah, yeah actually you can, that's yeah. how i met my husband what oh my God. <laughs> so blind hold dates on, do hold on hold work. on what hold on you actually <laughs> met your husband on a blind someone told you like this guy a blind blind date it's just somebody who introduced us okay mm -hmm. then i think we spoke a lot on phone for like i think but a you month never met. but you never, never met yeah. still a blind date <laughs> yeah you're, so, brave. Whoa. you're brave yeah congratulations yeah and he's awesome how many years down the line uh three we're going to four years wow oh right. that's it it can work after for the you second too. it can year work for you too all right <laughs> never <laughs> have good. i ever been sick on my friend or someone else. So basically, I've ever thrown up on anyone. Oh my gosh. Mikali. <laughs> Ay, guy, <laughs> what? You called Mikali? <laughs> because I have never. Hey, Nana. Everything is never. Really? <laughs> Even on their shoes? N uh, well, honestly. You see? <laughs> but hey. not a friend. Like, I was in anyone. a matatu it says from someone. Shango. Okay. It says someone. A and then I was sick. Oh. I puked. <laughs> Okay, so um, okay, one last one because I'm being told we still have some more feedback for Liz. Um, never have I ever stalked an ex new past partner on social media. I mean, we all do. Miss no. Nana, we are you don't. Serious? Clearly, we don't. Are you serious? This is why you're so much Bygones better than all of us. I, no, this she, is why you're better than all of us. She does not have that time. She has time for priorities. No, She's already told that. It's because she doesn't have time to stalk. She's busy doing other things. You know what? Exactly. That's, that's what no, I'm saying. I'm going to be so busy with other things. Let me tell you a secret about this, the stalking. Mm -hmm. You know the, the way we have a lot of mental health issues yeah. nowadays because yeah. of the undue pressure we put ourselves in yes. because of social media? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if I know Nana 
Mm. Her dresses are amazing. Your mm-hmm. hair is always amazing, mm-hmm. and you're stressing me. Mm. Like I'll block you, not because I don't like you. you just don't because, see you. Yeah, because don't I don't want the pressure. You see, this oh, is why wow. you're so much better than us. You know what? No, for seriously. Me, life hack one on one, yeah. guys. I mean, you know it's what? A that's that's tip. a really yeah. great tip. Yeah. And I give a lot of my friends that tip, but I just don't take it. For me, it has to get worse before it gets better. <laughs> like, I have to completely hate myself <laughs> before I go back to loving myself. But that's just me. Um, so, <laughs> we have Sophie from Tata who's saying, um, I just want to ask Liz, how do we increase our credibility as young people? We want to be professional in our fields. E.g., I am a hydrologist that's a job okay sorry i am a hydrologist and jobless um thanks to miss rona yeah. um there are very few of those in kenya but worldwide it is very uh, it's a, it's a very crucial profession anyway i just want to know how can i get my seat <coughs> on the big table since it's starting to become more known in kenya i don't want to miss out on the opportunity uh, and also be able to affect change in the water sector Wow, wow, that's a very good oh, question. Wow, very good stuff. Um, I think my response to that is, as young people, we need to understand better how to brand ourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And branding is a lot of preparation. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of learning. Um, I always say you never stop learning. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter you have 50 PhDs. Yeah. Yeah. Learning is very continuous. And the way you stand out is really understanding your craft or mm. your speciality or your area of expertise mm-hmm. let me tell you if anybody woke you up at midnight and told you how do this how hydronics work mm-hmm. and you're able to really tell them how it mm, works yeah. that's one just making sure you learn and there are lots of online free yeah. courses that if yeah. you join the network we really share a lot of that mm-hmm. number two is also finding mentors mm-hmm. i cannot say this or emphasize Enough. this further yeah. like you know, I know people really don't play mentorship. And mentorship is a means for somebody to pass the baton to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the people who've been before us know so much. They have a wealth of wisdom. Mm -hmm. We really need to take advantage and leverage. And when we're looking for a mentor, this is my problem. You'll Mm -hmm. find a lot of LinkedIn (coughs) messages or Instagram messages mentor me. Mm. As in, you've not really articulated what what it is that you mean. Yeah, Yeah, it's also how you position yourself. My name is Nana Witi. I am in this field Mm. and looking at your, and research about the person that that you want to mentor. Exactly. I know you're in the area of X and X. Mm -hmm. I would want to learn some tips. ETC, let me know which date or what time works for you. Mm -hmm. A call or a meetup. You know, even that person reading that message is like, what? Okay, wow. Yeah. This one is Straight serious. Because yeah. exactly. there's honestly a lot of hunger for mentorship like, yeah, there right is. now. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. But at least you have articulated. Like you have to say exactly what it is. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the you can start with hi. Yeah. My yeah. name no, is. No, at hi. Is. And let God. me tell you, <laughs> the <laughs> message is hey. some of, yeah. Trust me, we yeah. understand. You yeah. get them yeah. as well. Yeah. And then the third <laughs> tip for her mm-hmm. is also networking. Mm-hmm. On top of just finding the right mentor, and don't reach out to two, three people, a la Fubas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if it's 50, mm-hmm. at least out of those 50, one or two will respond back. Because yes. I know sometimes some people get too busy. Yeah. The other thing is network. Mm-hmm. Find Facebook groups who have similar interests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Find opportunities or events on in- Eventbrite. I think they share a lot of events that are happening. Mm-hmm. Check out webinars that are happening that really align to the things that you want to do Mm -hmm. and i i I will feel such a disservice for not mentioning this because it's such a mantra for me Mm -hmm. when i was 15 i would hang out with people who are like 15 10 years older Mm. and one thing that because they're mid levels yeah junior yes they'd always say uh, I want to work for this company. So I googled a lot of those companies. Oh, so you are learning a lot exactly. from yeah. And you guys had it from the hostess mouth. Thanks yes. so much for coming share your oh, social media handles. Yes. Oh, at yes. Liz in Tonjira. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Liz in Tonjira Network. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think that's it. Absolutely. Thank you so <laughs> much, you so much coming, for coming. Guys, you have really dropped so much gems. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But man. thank you so much for tuning in, guys. See you tomorrow. Wow.